Now, it's hard to really determine where we are now and how it fits in with the overall plan that God has for our lives. I'm Craig Tritchley from the Sanctuary with today's devotional. You know, we've been working on puzzles. This is our third one that we've done since we've been on social isolation just to pass the time. You know, you can only look at Facebook and videos so long. And this is how we used to pass the time to have a puzzle. This is a small one. It's only 1,500 pieces. And it's taken a little while, but we've got it about oh, almost two-thirds done, maybe three-fourths done. And it's just, it's hard to tell where a, a piece will fit. And so you start with the edge pieces and you work your way into the middle. And, and this one fortunately had some, some lines in it, different kinds of pasta and things and tomatoes and different things that go into pasta. And, you know, where, where does this piece fit in the overall puzzle? Really, that's questions we're asking ourselves now about what's going on in the world today and how does this fit? Well, I want to show you that God has a master plan and just like this puzzle has a, a box with the picture and it shows you basically where everything goes and it's pretty easy to look at the picture and say, hey, that's a great plan. But yet when I'm looking at this piece or I'm looking at a red piece or I'm looking at a blue and white piece, I'm looking, I don't know where they fit. The maker of the puzzle did. He had it designed ready to go so that we could over time figure out where this piece goes compared to another piece. Then you've got your tomato there to finish and so you find another piece that's around and a red one, no, which, how does this all fit? The Bible tells us in Romans chapter eight, verse 28, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Paul said, we know this. How could Paul say that? Paul had been through a lot of things in his ministry. He'd been shipwrecked, he'd been beaten, he had been, he had been made fun of, persecuted, imprisoned. And yet Paul makes a statement that we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Paul had an understanding that God had a big plan, a master plan, and that we were just part of it and we're just pieces in the puzzle. And days and weeks and months and years are just pieces that God has in his big puzzle. So I want to assure you today that God's in control and that God has a plan and that every piece that you have, everything that happens, it fits in God's plan somehow. We can't see the picture. We don't know the overall plan, but our Heavenly Father does. And our Heavenly Father is helping us. God bless you. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Check out our website, SyracuseSanctuary.org. We've been posting some of our past messages and podcasts. Check that out. Listen to it. Glad you're with us. See you later.